Welcome to Successful Living with Bill Knappick. Every week we talk about success and everything that goes along with it. You'll learn the principles of success, how to achieve success, and learn to overcome challenges that may be getting in the way of success in your life. You'll hear from Bill Knappick, a radio personality and business development expert, along with insight from special guests. If you're ready to find your path to success or take the success you're enjoying to the next level, stay tuned. Successful Living with Bill Knappick is on right now. And welcome to the show, Successful Living with Bill Knappick. And today with Harriet Lerner, she is one of our nation's most loved and respected relationship experts. And she's had 12 books out, one on the New York Times bestseller called The Dance of Anger. And today we're going to talk to her about her books, but also her latest book is so important when we talk about success in our relationships and in life. Her newest book is called Why Won't You Apologize? Ladies and gentlemen, Harriet Lerner, welcome to the show. I'm delighted to be here. <laughs> other people. I'm sorry. Those are two very important words, right? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Apologies is with us until our very last breath. Indeed it is. And, and not only that, in your book, you go through all the nuances of an apology, the things we should do, the things we shouldn't do. So it's very important. It's, it's, it's a little more than just saying, I'm sorry. Some people just don't do a good job of apologizing. Well, most of us don't because we're wired for defensiveness. And it is very easy to muck an apology up. And the most common way we do that is by adding the word but. Mm. You know, I'm sorry I yelled at you, but you provoked me. I'm sorry I missed your birthday, but I was so overloaded with work. And the word but almost always signals an excuse or a rationalization or a criticism of the other person. So it doesn't matter if after if if what you say after the but is true, the but makes the apology false. So I tell people, get your but out of your apology. And that's just one of many, many ways that, you know, we muck it up. Exactly. I'm thinking of another word that could do the same thing, and that is, I wouldn't have done that if you didn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Boy, that and flows right out of the tongue. <laughs> if undoes an apology, like, I'm sorry if you heard my remarks as sexist or racist, it wasn't my intention. I'm sorry if you felt upset by what I said. That is not an apology. There's no accountability there. So we also undo an apology when we focus on the other person's feelings rather than taking direct responsibility for what we have said and done or not said and done, without a hint of evasion, excuse-making, blaming, bringing up the other person's crime sheet. So, you know, it's not easy to get it right. Well, and that's why we encourage people to get this book, Why Won't You Apologize, by Harriet Lerner. And we are talking to Harriet right now. So let w without telling everything in the book, and we couldn't in these few minutes, but give people, as they're listening, if you would, a few bullet points on some of the things that we should do when we apologize. It depends on what we're apologizing for. If you spill red wine on your friend's carpet, mm -hmm. you know, it's easy to say, I am so sorry, and to offer to pay the cleaning bill but when we've really hurt someone and they're confronting us in an angry or blaming way and we think that their feelings are exaggerated, they're not owning their part of the problem, then the challenge is, is very great because the challenge then is to really listen to the hurt party's anger and pain without any ifs, ands, and buts. No apology will have meaning if we haven't listened carefully to the hurt party's anger and pain. And that is such a challenge when we don't want to hear what they're saying, and we automatically listen to the exaggerations and distortions, you know, so that we can correct them and 
bring up all that they've done wrong. So I think that is the most difficult part of the apology is really listening. Because what the hurt party wants, and we know this from our own experience, what the hurt party wants more than the words, I'm sorry, is we want the person who hurt us to really get it. You know, to really be able to say, I get it, I screwed up, I was wrong, your feelings make perfect sense, and I want you to know that I won't do this again. And we can't give that kind of apology unless we can listen. And the person, you know, the title of my book is interesting. I called it, Why Won't You Apologize? Because I pay a lot of attention to the needs of the hurt party who may never have that experience of opening a conversation with someone who hurt them and the other person is not able to orient toward reality, is not able to really listen, is wrapping themselves up in layers of defensiveness and denial. And, you know, that is part of the human experience. Some people are never going to own up to the hurt that they caused. So about half of the book is to learn to apologize wisely and well. And the other half is for the hurt party, which involves understanding why the apology that you want and deserve may never be forthcoming. Listening is so important. Choice of words are so important in life. Give people an idea, if you would. This subject matter, it is, and in, in even in the Wall Street Journal, there was an article written just about two weeks ago about apologies, the power. Give, what was it, Harry, that got you involved in this topic of all your 12 books? How did this one come to be? Well, that's an interesting question, because I've been studying apologies, actually, for a lot of years. And the reason I became so interested in them is that a good apology is very healing. And an absent apology or a bad apology really compromises a relationship or can even end it. So I've been studying this for a long time, but what got me to actually sit down at the computer you know, and actually say, okay, I'm going to do this, is I received a really awful, blame-reversing, sleazy, non-apology, and I just couldn't shake it off, <laughs> Bill. And some, you know, it's funny what motivates us to sit down and really act. And that bad apology, which, by the way, I put in the book, <laughs> that bad apology really was what got me to sit down and begin to write. Well, in a way, it's it's great that you got that bad apology because you're doing the world <laughs> a service with this book. It truly and and the nice thing too, it's not a a long book. You get to the point. You cover the, what needs to be covered. What's the best place where people can get your book, Harriet? Anywhere you can get it. Oh, I recommend in the Houston area that people get it at Brazos Bookstore one of my favorite independent bookstores in the world. And you can also get it online. You can get it anywhere. And let's tell people your website as well so they can see some of these other great books as you are helping people with relationships all the time. And also you do a, a fair amount of speaking around the country, right? Right. In fact, I will be, or rather I will have been at, Brazos um, right before this airs. So, yeah, I do do a lot of speaking. Very nice. And your website, please? www.harrietlearner.com. You can just Google my name. Harriet has two R's and one T. And the book is Why Won't You Apologize? I strongly encourage all of you that are listening to get this book and have your children get it too. They need some work too. Harriet, with the last minute or so, what else would you like people to know about your book or anything else? 
I think that we've covered quite a bit that that it's really worth it um, for your relationships, whether at work or intimate relationships, to have the wisdom to apologize wisely and well. It's one of the greatest gifts that we can give to the other person. And the heartfelt apology allows the hurt party to feel safe and soothed in the relationship, knowing that we care about their feelings, that we're capable of taking responsibility. Um, So it's a very important topic. And, oh, Brene Brown, who I'm sure is a very familiar name to many of our listeners, Brene Brown and I have paired up and we're offering um, a wonderful course on this subject, which people can sign up for now. Just go to Courage Works. Just Google Courage Works, and you'll see the classes. And I'm so excited about that because Brene Brown is one of my heroes, and um, she read the book, and she said, "Let's do that," and we're doing it. So I hope that people will sign up for that. Very nice. In fact, she says on your book, she's on the cover, she says, Harriet Lerner is one of my great heroes. This book is a game changer, and Brene Brown says that. Thank you so much, Harriet Lerner, for being on Successful Living. We're so glad. I am sorry. I'm sorry are the two most powerful words in the English language, and you help people. You navigate them through that. Ladies and gentlemen, why won't you apologize? Thank you so much, Harriet, for being on Successful Living. Thank you. And thank you all for listening. That was Harriet Lerner, author of the book, of 12 books, and the book, Why Won't You Apologize? I suggest you get that. If you're listening in Houston, go to the Brazos Bookstore, pick it up, and get the book, Why Won't You Apologize? 